Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. I wanted to take you through how we're going to be handling this particular column. It's a little bit differently than the way we would normally do it. When you look at the house, there's the second floor and the main level, and this floor system isn't actually cantilevered out. So it's seeing quite a bit of weight. In fact, when you do structural engineering, you have to take into consideration the dead load and the live load. Here, this is the kitchen. So while it's not a whole lot of weight, you actually have cabinetry on here and you'll have people walking around. So this column also helps support the deck. There's some LDLs that come through here. In other words, it's important. So if you want to come in closer, I'll show you what we're going to do. The weight comes all the way down and is borne by this concrete pier. The dug fir column is attached with this piece of hardware from Simpson. And then we've got the hardware up at the top there. But this is where the driveway comes, and we're in Washington State, where it rains a lot. This little line that you can see here is actually a level line, and that translates over to level with the, uh, with the garage. You want just a little bit of slope on flat work. Eighth of an inch is typically minimum. We just don't have a whole lot of room here. What I don't want to have happen is have moisture sitting here and start to wick up through the wood. Wood in this direction basically is acting just like a tree. So with capillary rise, you'll start to get uh, moisture coming up potentially if it's there long enough. And if there's any harmful microbes, that could be a breeding ground for it. Because it's so critical, I want to make sure that I'm managing the water. So I'm going to use Huber Zip System Liquid Flash. It's a fluid applied WRB or water resistive um, fluid. And I'm going to cover all of this up with that. It's so irregular and frankly I don't know how much tape is really going to adhere to this particular concrete. I think that's just the easiest way to go. After that, we're going to use the flat wrap. I am working with Benjamin Opdyke on this project. So we'll take that, wrap it around, staple a bug screen, which to be quite honest, is just window screen that we're using three inches up on each side. That's going to go at the bottom here. So this goes on, then this goes on, all the way up, and then this cedar is going to be installed by my brother. Go give him a follow. He's on YouTube at Awesome Framers. So that's the explanation, and then I'll go through step by step on future videos. If you enjoyed this video, give me a follow at Pioneer Builders Inc. on Instagram, and I'd love it if you'd follow this channel too. Thanks and have a good day.